Hi everyone, Angelina the Fake Collie coming at you with another Fake Pet Palooza where I review a fake LPS from eBay and yeah, I just waste my money on plastic junk. And this series has been going on for too long because I have nothing else to upload, which means you should comment down below your video suggestions. Yay! Uh, so yeah, let's go surfing online and see what we see. Okay, this one I bought because it's a fake version of my channel mascot. So I had to buy it because why not? But look at this. It's titled a red eye lamb sheep. I want to see what a red eye lamb sheep actually looks like. Is that that's so funny why they named it that. If you don't remember, this is the pet that I bought um for another one from them. But they have more disgusting fake LPS that make literally no sense at all. I have no idea. And look at all of these that they have here. It's so strange. I don't know. Like this one is horrifying. Anyway, let's get on with the review. All right, so I'm back um, about like two or three weeks later and the package has arrived from China. So let's take a look. And if you don't know, it's this one that I got, which is my channel mascot. I'm saying this and as myself, the host of this channel. This is the channel mascot. And so yeah, and she's really dirty and I've repainted like everything on her because I've tried to customize her tons of times and I didn't like it so I just took it all off. So she's really dirty, really, really well loved. So her color is really off. So just ignore everything about it. <laughs> but I just have it there because that's what we're going to be referencing. And the reason why I bought this LPS is because it's a fake version of my channel mascot so we had to get it okay so here it is my address is on it so I'm not gonna show mm, I really don't like this eBay seller China oh gosh uh, they're so heavy now this wasn't something that I got for you guys to learn from and say or just know that this is a fake and you shouldn't get it. This is something I think we can all tell is a fake from the pictures. I just got it for humorous reasons. Oh my gosh, this is so ugly. So obviously the color is way different and you can see how dirty mine is. but. I don't remember it originally being this white. This is pure white. It was this was not that white before, I swear. So when you hold these LPS, their heads are super heavy. I've reviewed a fake collie and um, a fake cocker spaniel from this seller and the heads are just solid plastic. Just solid. No squish at all. Alright, let's move on to the comparisons. Ignore the color. So their eyes are pretty much the same except for the fake ones. Paint job is awful. And it's not even on all the way on that eye. And it's coming off-ish. And it's yellow and orange. Versus this one is more of a brownish tone. And the flowers aren't really detailed. I know I repainted these flowers. Ignore it. The pink is way off. It's totally not painted right there. Um, the nose is even chipping. Um, the bows are not painted all the way. As you can see, it's really bad quality here. Um, 
Yeah. Strange. So strange. The ears are supposed to have a little bit of a section there and they don't. So I wonder if they can come off. No, they can't. It's not the bobblehead. It's literally just a plastic nub. The molds look exactly the same. I think it's a little bit shorter and the body looks exactly the same. I've had to glue the tail on a ton of times, so ignore that. Um, the paws look smaller. The body actually looks smaller. I think the body is smaller. It doesn't have the hole in it, which is weird. That's strange. I mean, these figures wouldn't be bad for customizing if you wanted to practice because they're literally just $2.99 and they're not an actual authentic pet. So you could still just customize it and practice because the only thing that's bad is the paint job and the fact that the head is pure plastic and it doesn't bobble. Along with these pets that they're better quality, they're more expensive but they do look more accurate and you can customize with those but these it's a little bit better I'd say I mean the molding might be a little off and the only ones that are good is the Cocker Spaniel and this one I mean they have other ones but they're not even they're not good at all <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying don't don't you don't have to take advice from me cuz I know I'm not very talented at that kind of thing so yeah that was my review of this fake poodle. This was, by the way, the Easter egg edition poodle where it came in the Easter egg set. I actually got this one as a child during my Easter egg hunt at my house by myself because, yeah, and it was my, it was my favorite one out of all of them. And, oh, oh, here's a funny story. So, um, the year that I got the Easter egg pets, it was the second wave of them, the one with the purple cockers manual, you know, when they start stopped doing the indented eyes and they just had, like, a flat surface and then painted the eyes on? Yeah, it was that. It was the second wave of that. I forgot, well... My mom hid one of the LPS eggs so well that we didn't find it till August, I think. And it was in a drawer that we never looked in. So I got a surprise later on in the year. It was one of the, it was the duck. So yeah, that was fun. Sorry, a little flashback there. I had to share that story. Anyway, let's end this video. Be sure to comment down below your video suggestions. And thank you so much for subscribing because my number count keeps going up because you guys love these videos. So yeah, thanks so much for watching and toodles! I like it. <laughs>